Welcome back everybody. Um, before I get into today's video, this is future me talking about what I had just done. Um, I unboxed not one, not two, not three, but four Discmania mystery boxes. And uh, there is some really, really cool plastic in there. So you guys stay tuned for that. This is a sweet video and it is worth watching. Um, another thing is I will also be giving away four 20% um, off coupons. You guys like and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to grow it and I really appreciate all my subscribers thus far. You guys are awesome. Um, but uh, it'd be awesome if I could get more. So uh, I just want to help people out in the disc golf journey. But uh, I love the sport. And so any type of any kind of chips or tricks that I can come up with that I can help you guys with, I'm going to do that. So with all that being said, let's get straight into the video. They are finally here. I cannot wait to get inside and show you what's in these boxes. This is, I've been waiting for this for so long. It seems like forever, but let's go in here. Let's check it out. All right, so uh, follow me to the land of dreams. So, let's go ahead and get to unboxing these. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's get into it. All right, so these boxes, uh, there's two mystery boxes in each one. There's two blacks and two reds, the DD ones and the CD ones. So, um, I don't want to spend too long. So, let's get these puppies open. All right. So, what I'm going to do before I get too far into it, I'm also going to play a mystery box round. Um, I'm just going to randomly pick a box. Um, and uh, whichever box I pick, I'm going to play the full round with the box, only the discs from the box. And I'm just going to take this pin right here, draw on it. There we go. Put some holes in it. So that way, you guys know which box I'm using. I marked it. There's little holes all in it right there. So that'll be the box I'll play the round with. So um, I'm going to open uh, a red and a black and kind of guess the discs that are inside of it. And the other two I'm just going to open because I don't want this video to be long and drawn out. So with further ado, start with this guy right here. Let's see what's in it. Here we go. Um, there we go. All right, so far, got 20% off. Uh, I will post that here in just a second. You guys stay tuned. All right, so, ooh, ooh. This feels like a an origin. Um, it's, um, it's an origin or MD1. I think it's an origin. Let's see. All right, okay. So that is a Kyle Klein... Um, nah. Midnight Prowl, right there. It's kind of hard to see. That's some. That is it, right there. Let's stack that up. Let's see here. Ooh, this is a fast disc. Um, I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Uh, it's one of the first discs I got from Discmania. Um, I think it's a Majesty because it has a really wide rim. Yes, it is. All right. It's a Glow Majesty. Um, I've actually got one of these before in my previous mystery box, so... Um, but I don't know what to think of this disc yet. I'm not sure what to think of it. It's surprisingly more stable than what the numbers on the back show. It says it's a 13.5, negative 2.2. But to me, it does not fly like that. You guys comment down below. If you have a Majesty and you've thrown it, let me know if you if yours are as stable as mine are. Oh, this is a putter. Uh, I'm gonna guess a 
I guess a P2. Yes. Oh, okay. Sweet, sweet, sweet. That's a double stamp P2. A red and black stamp. It's actually a... Uh, see, it's a Flex 2. D-Line Flex 2. Oh, I don't... Oh, man. Feels like a... It's a fairway driver. I want to say a, a... A PD or a... I think it's a... I want to say PD. Is it PD or FD3? One of the two. Ah, oh, sweet. Okay. It's a... That's, that is sweet. That has some sweet color to it. That is a Nordic Phenom uh, PD. It's a S line. I believe it's an S line. It's, it's an X out, so it's kind of hard to read, but uh, I actually I bagged one of these. I actually really like this disc. It's a, it's a good disc. Let's see. Oh. I think that's an MD3. MD3s are kind of easy to spot out because they have a small bead on the bottom of them, and uh, it's a it's a feels like an MD3. I throw an MD3 quite a bit, so it's hard for me to miss that one. I hope I'm not wrong. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, it's an MD3. Sweet. Uh, just a plain old plain old white clear. Not quite. It's clearly clear. <laughs> it's not white. So, yeah, that's a sweet disc. Um, I've always been afraid to throw clear discs because I'm, I'm like, I'm going to more than likely lose that. So, uh, so, so far, so good. That's a link. I throw links. I know that's a link. Without a doubt. I put with them too much to know that it's not a link. That is for sure a link. Which is awesome. It's, a, it's sweet. It's a soft. Um, I actually prefer putting with a softer... Putter. I don't know why. It seems like I can grip it better. So, sweet. Always love to have another link. Oh, shoot. I don't know. Oh, this is one of those. Oh, my gosh. It's too slow to be a fairway and it's too fast to be a mid range. What is that disc? Is it a Rockstar? Is it a Rockstar or a. I think it's a rock star. That's what it is. I am so wrong. I couldn't be more wrong. I could have swore it was not a mid range. I'm wrong. It's a Taylor. Ah, that's a sweet. I have I have a Taylor already, but it's blue, so it's nice to get a different color one. So that's a nice backup. I actually, this disc surprised me because I actually went out and threw it, and it's not a bad disc. It's a it's a it's a pretty good disc. Okay, well, I'll blue that. Ooh, this feels like. Uh, this is a faster, I'm going to say this is probably a DD3. It's like a faster, it's definitely a driver. I'm going to say Cloudbreaker, DD3, something like that. I'm wrong. It's an FD3. Dang it, I should know that because I throw this all the time. That's a sweet, it's a bar stamp, just an FD3. Um... I love these discs. These are sweet. These are good discs. This disc, to me, to me is comparable to like a, a Raptor or a, oh my gosh, Firebird. Something like that. Oh, sweet. We're at the end. That's it for that. Now we're going to see... I already know this is a DD1. I just need to know what color it is. What color is it? Oh, it's freaking purple. Sweet. Uh, I have a blue one and a... Or a it's like a teal color. I have a blue one and a red one. But it's sweet to get a purple one. So there it is. So that red box is done. Let's find a black box. Let's open this bad boy. Oh, uh, there's an, oh I will give out a 20% code right now. There, there you go. So if you've made it this far into the video, there's 20% off. Okay, I'm going to save the other three for later. Oh. Oh, man, that's a, this, is, this is either a, it's a putter. Um, I'm going to guess an either a P2 or a Sensei. That's my guess. It's a Sensei. All right. I've been, uh, I have seen, 
quite a few of these in these black mystery boxes. And so, if I had to take a guess, I bet you there's one in this one too. But it's always harder for, it's, it's a little, since A's and P, P2's are, I don't know, to me they're very similar. It's hard for me to tell them apart just by feel. P2's are a deeper. So if you look at a P2 and a Sensei, see if I can get them, if I can get the camera right. It's hard to tell. P2's are just a touch deeper. So, anyways. All right, I'm actually gonna put those discs back in this box. Back in this box. Back in this box. Sensei, let's get into the next one. Oh, I know what this is. This is a tactic. It's hard. Uh, there's this one specifically um, is a really gummy. It's an extra soft, XO extra soft tactic. And the reason why I know that is because I got one in a previous mystery box, and I was like, "What in the world?" And this thing, which is awesome to have a backup, but these things are like. Whoop, 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 whoop. Super gummy. So, believe it or not, it's actually surprisingly stable. Uh, I do four hands with them, and I was surprised. I thought it would be really flippy and not want to hold the line, but it does a really good job of flying super straight and fading, fading to the right if you're a right hand forehand player. So, okay. Ooh. This might be a mutant. Maybe a mutant. Mutant has a... How about right? Yes! Oh, that is freaking sweet! Uh, Alright. Bar stamp mutant. It's just purple. Just a purple bar stamp mutant. I actually use a mutant a lot. I, uh, I took out my Razor Claw 3 and my Razor Claw 2 and started using a mutant. Uh, started using a mutant. So there's that. Oh, I don't know what this is. I'm gonna... The way that the top of it's shaped, it's kind of... I think it's an understable disc. I'm gonna... It's a fairway driver. I'm gonna guess an Essence. Um, I've seen people get Essences in these, so that's my guess. No, I'm wrong. It's a Rockstar. So... Yep. It's a Glow Rockstar. I was wrong. And... Uh, What's sad about that is I throw an Essence quite a bit. So, which a Rockstar and an Essence have real similar numbers. This is an 8, 5, negative 2, 1. And I think an Essence is an 8, 6, negative 2, 1. So they're really, really close. I've never actually, I don't know. If I've thrown a Rockstar, it hasn't been very often. Oh, this is a putter. I'm going to guess another P2 is what I'm going to guess. Oh, okay, that's a Flex 1 P2. Just a regular old plain Flex 1 P2. Um, I've actually, I like this because it's softer than the other P2 I got. Um, so I may have to get these to try putting. I, uh, I really like my links, but I always thought that the other P2s were just a touch too stiff. So that's a sweet disc. This is an essence. This. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Sweet. Yes, this is a, oh, that's a sweet color. It don't have much, it's a bright, it's a bright red and orangish color um, with a uh, European Open Lion stamp right there. And it's, um, it's definitely an essence. It's 174. I love, I love the essence. That's a good hydro flip disc. It's in the ground. It's on the ground. Okay, this... Oh, man. Oh, I want to say this is a DD3, but it may be an FD3. I don't know why I have a hard time filling those apart. I'm going to say an FD3. Oh, yes, 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 I was right. Okay, sweet. Bar stamp. That's a Metal Flake FD3, which is awesome. Uh, I know as far as Discraft goes, Discraft used to have a, 
a crystal sparkle raptor and that thing was super stable so i'm hoping that these metal flakes hoping that this metal flake would be more stable than my other fd3 but we'll see never can complain about getting an fd3 okay this is super flat this is either a splice or a tilt i don't know i don't uh It's just super, super flat. Oh my God. My gut's telling me tilt. Which you would think a tilt's pretty, pretty obvious what it is. It may, it may not be. I may be wrong. Now that I'm sitting here feeling it, it may be a DD3. I don't know. It's, it's pretty, it's not, a, it's not a tilt. It's not a tilt. It's not a tilt. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna guess. Uh, I'm gonna guess DD3. It's a tilt. Dang it! I knew it was a tilt. I knew it was a tilt, and I second guess myself. Uh, here it is. That's an X out tilt. That is freaking sweet. I have have a tilt right here. This tilt is Simon's first run tilt. Just a regular old tilt, um, which has some. It's a meta. It's blue and bluish pinkish purplish it's a sweet disc that's a wall hanger literally hanging on the wall hanging on the door this is a full tilt so this is the second run and i do not have one of these yet so that is always a win to get this should have stuck with my gut okay last but not least uh, i cannot wait to throw this disc this is a cd1 cannot wait to throw it um i hope it's a cool color no idea what color it will be but i hope it's a cool color I've seen a lot of oranges and purples and what other colors have I seen? Blues? I think I may have seen some blues and some reds. So we'll see. Orange. It is orange. It's kind of a boring stamp. Um, just a plain old orange, or not orange, orange disc. Pur just a plain old purple stamp. Here it is. There she is. But I cannot wait. I'm more than likely gonna bag one of these because there should be one. In, there should be one in here. More than likely, I'm gonna bag one. Certainly gonna go out and test it. Uh, I will probably also do a nine-hole round with just this disc. That would be pretty cool to do. Um, so, with all that being said, I'm gonna put all those back in here. And I'm not gonna guess on these next boxes because that took too long. It didn't take too long, but uh, it did take did take longer than expected. So put that back up. Okay, all right. So red box. We're just gonna go through them as fast as we can, so you guys can see the discs. All right, another Majesty. It's a Glow Majesty, just like. Pretty much identical to the last one. Wow, this one's identical to the other one. It's red and black P2, double stamp. Give me two identical discs. Okay, that's this. I always like this purple. That's a cool, it's a DD, C line DD3. Um, I forehand DD3s quite a bit, so never hurts to have a backup. A backup for your backup. Okay, this is pretty cool. Uh, another X out Nortec Phenom. Um, Ah, uh, this one has a little bit more, I don't know, it's, it's got some cool, cool pigment to it, so, um, these are great discs. If you've never thrown a, throw one of these, um, just check them out. Another, so this box is really similar to my last box, another clear MD3. Okay. Oh my gosh, are you serious? You know, if they're gonna give me the same discs, maybe let's switch it up and give me some different colors, okay? Uh, no yellow link, which I'm not gonna complain about getting links. Love links. Blue Taylor, all right, it's a blue Taylor. This one's got a pretty cool stamp. Um, it's, a, it's like a shatter, type of shatter stamp, but um, let's see. Now we got C-Line FD3, FD3. Here it is, bar stamp. C-Line FD3. Got another FD3. All right. 
Let's see what color I got. It's red. Okay. So I got two red, one purple, one blue. I made a bag of red just because I've got four of them and just might as well bag the red. So here it is. All right. There we go. So there's that box. That was pretty quick. One box to go. If you've made it this far into the video, um, I'm going to go ahead and reward you, even if you're the same person, uh, with another 20% off. There you go. There's two 20% offs. So, another purple mutant. All right, sweet, purple mutant. Sensei, I figured there would be one of these in here. Sensei, same thing. I have yet to throw, these is pretty soft. This is a, it's an active sensei, that makes sense. This active line is pretty soft, but um, not sure what to think of the senseis yet. Um, my friend Brad, shout out to Brad. Um, pray for Brad, by the way. He blew his knee out. And when I say blew your knee out, when, when I say blew his knee out, I'm literally talking, had to go get surgery, had to get staples, had to get his tendons reconnected, ligaments, whatever they were. His knee was messed up. So um, if you're out there, say a prayer for Brad and his recovery because the doctor said it could be a year or more, a year or so, um, before he gets to play disc golf again. So uh, for any of you disc golf lovers out there, being away from the sport for a year, not getting to play, for me that would kind of suck because uh, I really go out, I really like going out and enjoying this sport. Okay. Another extra soft tactic, really floppy. Um, so I got three of these things now. Um, so there you go. Another DD3 blue one. I do not have a blue one. I have a red one and a purple one. So that is sweet to get a blue DD3. Another rock star. Looks like I got two glow rock stars. If you guys will like and subscribe to my channel, make some comments down below, I will actually give away, um, I will give away a disc, whether it be a rock star, so I got a couple glow rock stars and I got a couple glow majesties, so, um, yeah, go ahead and comment, comment down below and you could possibly get a disc. Another flex, so my second one, another flex, PD, or PD, P2. Sweet, okay, I got another C-Line Metal Flake XL FD3, same color. So, another Essence, this one's more orange, not, not so much red. Last one on the floor. Give me a second. Got a red one. Got a more orange one. More yellow and orange. More red and orangish. Um, but the back of this one's definitely more vibrant as far as like uh, more swirly. <sighs> I don't know which one I'll bag, but more than likely these are probably on my bag. I love throwing this disc. It's a good, good disc. Okay, last but not least, please don't be an orange. I don't want another orange. Where's it at? I'd like to get a different color. I'd have, have two orange CD ones. Let's see what it is. Okay, it's purple. Ooh. Okay. That's not necessarily great. It's like, it's got a dent in the top of it, which is not good. I don't know if you can see that or not, but people would say it, you would say that that's puddle top, but it's not. It's just pressed in on this one side. This one side is pressed in. Um, so I don't know how that happened. Kind of, that's not really the, what you want to see out of your discs. Um, so uh, comment down below if you know a way to fix that. I don't know if I need to just set it upside down and put some weight in the inside of it to 
press that bubble back out but it's just wanting to just take shape so if you have any ideas please let me know um, so that is it for today's video I want to thank you guys for watching uh, I will post more codes in the comments down below um, until I catch you on the next one be looking out if I get when I get a chance to go play around I'm gonna take this mystery box full round mystery box round uh, actually I'll probably do nine holes I don't know we'll see we'll see um, but until then thank you guys for watching like and subscribe go in peace and be blessed peace out